Honourable Member for Lawler. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. And I rise tonight uh, to talk about families. And I welcome Prime Minister Abbott's change in rhetoric across the past two weeks around families. It is heartwarming to know that those of us on this side of the House who have been speaking endlessly about the unfair measures in the unfair budget for families, for women and for education may have been heard. And I hope in time proven that we have been heeded. I welcome Minister Morrison's understanding that families are hurting. In his response to the Productivity, Productivity Commission report uh, this week. But, Deputy Speaker, let's be serious. Before the PC report, this government got busy. They got very busy with cuts. And those actions speak volumes across Australia and in our communities. There are $5.5 billion worth of cuts to family payments, a $1 billion in, cu dollars in cuts to childcare, $400 million in out-of-school hours care, a $157 million cut to family daycare, which translates, those who have calculated, suggest, to a $35 a week increase in family daycare. And support for parents to study and go back to work is gone under the budget. And $300 million set aside to support low-paid educators has also been cut. And, Deputy Speaker, these cuts are working their way through the system while we hear about the Productivity Commission report. Deputy Speaker, according to the National Centre for Social and Economic Modelling, because of this government's budget, a single-income family on $65,000 with two children aged between 8 and 14 would lose over $6,000 per year by 2016. So these, the busyness of this government around these cuts is still a broad concern as these cuts work their way through the system. So the government, I believe, is right to change the rhetoric, and now we have to see that followed by action. Because, Deputy Speaker, the people I represent deserve that. The people of Lawler deserve it. The families in Lawler deserve a fair go. There are 60,000 families in my electorate, hard-working, middle to low-income families, where $65,000 per annum is a common household income. Lawler is one of the five electorates in Australia that has more than 10,000 10, families utilising childcare, over 10,500 families, over 9,500 families receive some form of childcare benefit. Deputy Speaker, I represent these hard-working, middle to low-income families, and so I feel I need to respond this week in terms of this change of rhetoric with a hope that it will be followed by a change of action. And I listened carefully today. I listened carefully to uh, Minister Morrison's uh, response to a question in question time, and I heard him say a few things. I heard him say that the goal is that childcare be affordable and quality, quality that will support families to stay in work and to get back to work to give their children the best possible start in life. And I noted that he used the word quality, and I'm pleased to hear him use the word quality. But he went on. He went on to couch it in some other terms. It's not an industry development scheme. It's not a transfer payment scheme. It's not a training levy. It's not there to support wage claims. It is there to support families and their children to help them get to work and stay in work and afford quality childcare. And it took me back, Deputy Speaker, back to the PricewaterhouseCoopers uh, report that came down in 2014 around putting a value on early childhood education and care in Australia. And you only have to read the executive summary of that document. And I go to the front page. And it talks about the benefits of family day, of, of early child care, childhood education and care. A six billion dollar benefit to the GDP in increased female work participation, and I heard the minister acknowledge that today. But there are two other things it talks about. One is the ten point three billion dollar benefit to GDP for the quality education and care program, and a thirteen point three billion dollar value around the increased participation of vulnerable children, and that is really important in my electorate. So I am looking forward, Deputy Speaker, to, um, to the government changing its actions. But before we start finding this, um, the answers, the real solutions—no pun intended—to the questions around childcare into the future, 
We need to undo those cuts. We need to make sure families are living today.